guys. So every spring, uh, like I said before, when I made the bird seed, I know it's springtime because I'm making bird seed and I'm having to cook a big Sunday dinner before Easter. So uh, every springtime, my husband's brother flies in and they go do boy stuff for the weekend. It's really great and they get to hang out and get to hang out with other guys. It's awesome. I like to have a home cooked meal for them. So today I am making beef bourguignon. The angle's a little different because I'm gonna be doing it from my kitchen, from where my, my ventilation hood is, out instead of the other way that I normally do it with my island, because I'm gonna show you what I do with the crock pot, okay? So um, today I'm gonna make a beef bourguignon. Now that's French, sounds very Frenchy, very fancy. It is not fancy at all and it is not expensive at all and a lot of the French cooking is very moderately priced. It just sounds fancy because it's French in a French accent, okay? You do not need to get intimidated over French food. And I wouldn't even be like, oh, I'm serving French tonight. I'd be like, I'm serving beef tonight. It's basically a beef stew, okay? Super simple, and it is very inexpensive to make. So I'm gonna show you my crock pot first. I have been on a long journey to get a decent crock pot. I have been trying to find one for a while that does not melt on me. Yes, melt on me, it's very scary. I'll come back to the knobs melted. I'm like, oh no. So there's been one problem or another. I believe this is my fifth crock pot. So far so good and no melting. So thank God for that. I don't know how they're legal. I don't know how we're even allowed to have them in our home. I do not have to go outside of the home to work. So for a J-O-B, so I can monitor my, my crock pot. Women who put it on the morning and leave, ugh, just, it freaks me out. Please be careful. Please make sure that your crock pot does not have any melting spots on it, okay? All right. So I found this brand with, that I love. And so far it has not done anything wrong to me. It hasn't tried to kill me or burn down my house or eat my kids. So I'm, I'm good with it. So this is the one that I found. It is called Green Life and it has a digital readout on the front. You can do delay time, which I don't do because when I put it on, I'm ready to, to do, use it. The mode, low, medium, and high, on, off, keep warm. And then you can also set a timer too on that. If you wanna set a timer for, you know, eight hours, 10 hours, whatever. I don't need the timer because I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna be watching it myself so it doesn't apply to me. So I just have it on, on and medium, okay? So I took my chuck roast, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. $11.74, y'all, for this huge roast. And then I just cubed it up and I make sure that it's still not thawed completely. Either thaw it completely, either thaw it out and leave a little bit crystally in the middle so you can cut it easier. Or when you thaw it out completely the night before, just pop it in the freezer like I did for 30, 40 minutes. I'm going to explain that again. So this is the beef chuck roast, guys. Look at that compared to my hand. It's a pretty good roast. We have, you know, family, like I said, coming from out of town. And so it's going to be a hearty meal. And that's plenty of roast. And make sure you get some with a little bit of marbling. And remember, it was only $11.74 for this roast. That's a great deal. So what I do is I take the chunk of roast, okay? It's like that. I cut down the roast and I cut off a slab of the roast. Then I take that portion and I cut that down the middle. So I make it into two strips so that way when I cut it and I cube it it's easier to cut and cube so that's how I do it cut it down then cut that slab in half and then I that's how I get my cubes and remember it's got a little bit of iciness on it so super easy to cut done and done then I cube it up and I throw it in my pot so I got the recipe on Pinterest but as y'all know, I go by my sniffer and my eyes. So I'm going to be using these ingredients and I'm going to put everything down below for all of you that can't use your sniffer in your eyes yet or haven't developed that skill, that's okay. I'm gonna have all the details below. So they say to add a half a cup of tomato sauce. This is a no salt added tomato sauce and it is only 15 grams of salt are in that. Compared to the regular tomato sauce that's not salt free, it has 380 milligrams. Crazy! You don't need all that salt, guys. It's raising your blood pressure. So, one can of chicken stock. So, 
So far, so good. Super easy, right? Super cheap. And it calls for bacon. I'm not gonna sit here and fry bacon, I'm sorry. I use my store brand, Bacon Bits. They are real crumbled bacon. And you can see inside. I take a handful. A small handful is about one bacon strip. And then I take another handful and I do two bacon strip, okay? You can put more bacon in or less bacon in. I just do the crumbles, it's super easy. It adds a nice bacony flavor without overpowering it. And it's super simple because I'm not gonna sit here and crumble and fry bacon, I don't have time for all that. That's why I adore crock pots, put it all in there and you get a gourmet meal, six hours, it's amazing. Okay, got some onion powder here. Gonna sprinkle some onion powder over. This recipe does not call for any onions. Garlic powder, a little tiny bit goes a long way for me. You know, dirt burps. If you don't know what dirt burps are, then go back to my deviled eggs recipe. Some thyme, sprinkling a thyme. I am going to put all the measurements down there. So when you're like, oh my God, lady, what the hell do you mean sprinkling? Don't worry, I'm gonna put it down there. Probably a couple teaspoons of, of thyme. And then this to me is like the caviar of the South, the spice caviar of the South, Beaumont. It is amazing. So I'm gonna put a good sprinkling of Beaumont in there. It adds a lovely flavor. It's just, it's bomb.com guys. You all need to get some Beaumont. Then it also calls for some wine. Look, if you're an alcoholic, recovering alcoholic, or you have alcoholics in your family or whatever, and you can't have any alcohol in there, you don't have to use it. You can use some red wine vinegar. You can skip it all together, okay? Uh, no judge zone. I just got a little thing of wine. It's one of those little four packs that you can get that has the, the four in there, teeny tinies. I'm just gonna pour that over. It's a nice red wine. I needed to smell it before I did that. Perfect, okay? It says about a cup. That's probably about a cup. As the day goes on, my sniffer is going to tell me whether or not it needs more wine or more spice. Remember, go easy. You cannot take it away. You can add more, but you can't take it away. Very, very important. So, let me stir that up. Now, it does call for some potatoes. We don't do potatoes in our house, right? We're a cancer-free house, so we don't do them. We don't, you don't really need them. It's just a starch. It's just gonna add more calories you don't need. Now, uh, I will add later, about an hour out, I will add some mushrooms. I will add a pack of 20, 16 ounce mushrooms right there. I love a ton of mushrooms. There's another five ounce and another five ounce. I do not want to have little teeny tiny chips of mushroom in there. I wanna have actual mushrooms and people and me to be able to say, oh yeah, those are mushrooms, those are awesome. About 20 minutes before, I'm gonna stick in a small pack of carrots. I'm not gonna do anything to them. I'm gonna leave them like that. I might cut them in half because they're kind of big. I can't stand mushy carrots. To me, they're disgusting and they taste like orange plastic. So I'm not a big cooked carrot girl. If you like them super cooked and you like them that way, throw them in there now. If you don't, put them in 20 minutes out like I do. They're gonna have an, um, a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of a crispness to it that I love and you can really still taste the flavor of the carrot. Okay, so that's it. You're gonna put your veg veggies in the end like I do or you're gonna put them in now, depending upon if you like smushy carrots or not. And you're gonna put the lid on it, let it sit for six, eight hours on low or medium, five to six on medium, six to eight on low. Um, five or less on high. And then you're going to have this amazing meal that sounds fancy, ooh la la, beef bourguignon, but it's not fancy, it's not expensive, it's super easy. And you can also serve it over some rice. I'm probably gonna make some brown rice since we do have family in town and they might want something a little more heartier. We're used to eating veggies a lot with a little bit of protein. So I always look out for like people coming over because they're gonna be like, this is it. What am I gonna put it on? <laughs> probably gonna make some brown rice to go on the side okay guys i love y'all and uh, um i'll be back to show you the end result okay bye Mwah. okay guys so we're a couple hours in let's lift this puppy up and see oh yeah baby Woo! smells like heaven smells like you've been slaving all day and you have not it's gonna be delish Okay guys, so now I'm about an hour out. It is melt in your mouth, by the way. It is amazing. The whole house smells like you've been cooking for days. It's fab. The good kind of cooking smell, not the nasty kind of cooking smell. So I'm just gonna put my mushrooms right in there. So this is about an hour out. 
you want to do this because I don't want tiny little chips of barely there mushrooms. I want them to meld into this and I want it to be nice and still have some type of form to it. I do not want it to be these little tiny chinchy cheapo chips of mushrooms. I can't stand that. I want it to have some serious meatiness to it without being these giant raw mushrooms. They're gonna cook down, guys. As soon as that heat starts to hit it, it's already starting to cook down. So that's where we're at right now. Good to just put these in here. Let this sit for about an hour, kind of, kind of press these down into the liquid. And that's gonna ensure that it all gets under there and all starts cooking. Okay, I'll be back for the final product. Okay guys, so there it is. So delicious, it's gonna cook down a little bit more. Got the carrots in there. Oh, I'm telling you that meat is melted in your mouth, you guys. You don't even have to chew it. So that was low for about six, seven hours. And it's divine, quick and easy, cheap, and it sounds fancy, beef bourguignon, but it's not. Love you guys. Please do not forget to subscribe and hit that like button bell and the notification so you can find out when I post and love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Hi guys, thank you all for tuning into my channel, Better With Netter. I really appreciate all of you and love you. So please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and push that notification bell so you can be the first to know when I have a new post and please press the like button. Thank you all so much for your love and support. Love you guys. Bye.